You want to know something a little sad? I searched up Bowser animation on YouTube and the first result was a video called Why Bowser Sucks. And that is just disgraceful. I mean, granted, the video is just a dumb parody and the title most likely doesn't reflect the creator's opinion in the slightest. But you know what? What if Bowser searches himself up? All he's going to see is that one video. How do you think that's going to make him feel? And honestly, I don't feel like this guy gets enough love. So sorry, Mr. Uh, Arcade Cloud, but I'm flipping the switch. <laughs> Here is why Bowser is awesome. Allow me to begin this video with a question. Who is the best Mario character? And the answer, of course, is Bowser. If you said anyone else, well, I'm sorry, you're just wrong, okay? Unless you said Luigi or Waluigi, in that case, you are less wrong. Wait, what? Okay, Reactigator, hold up. We've put up with a lot of your bullcrap in the past, but this, this is just ridiculous. Why would you think Bowser is so awesome? I mean, he's a complete idiot. He does the same thing every time. Shh. Now look. That's a conclusion you make at first glance, and that's pretty much the impression that most people get from him, that he's a big bad guy who needs karma to be bestowed upon him. <laughs> Heck, Nintendo was even brutal with him at first. Wait, what? No. No, 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 It's not real. It's not canon. It didn't really happen. It's fine. Just move on away from it. Pretend it happened. Everything's fine. Everything's okay, moving on from a game that Nintendo would like to delete from their history, we've got Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. This game is my freaking childhood, but also one giant blow to my Bowser fanboy balls. This game was relentless to the Koopa King. He gets blasted out of the sky in his Koopa Cruiser. He gets stuck in a cannon, held for ransom, shot out of the cannon, loses his memory, falls out of the sky again, and then gets possessed by a witch to turn into... Why did you feel the need to give it boobs? It's... I, I just... I... And all is said and done, Bowser returns to normal as his castle blows up around him, and he smacks against the screen and falls out of the sky. Again! Superstar Saga, you have damaged me beyond repair, but gosh dang it, I love you too much to do anything about it. Bowser didn't even do anything wrong. In fact, he tries to help out. Why would you punish him for that? Well, oh well. At least you didn't freaking kill him. But you know what? That's all in the past, okay? We don't need to dig up the old transgressions, all right? Okay, maybe he didn't stay in the past, but in 2009, Bowser's Inside Story came out and made everything right in the world. This game is awesome. If you haven't played it yet, I demand you, get on it. Uh, there's even a remake coming out soon, so you don't have the excuse that it's too old. And if you aren't sold on Bowser yet, then this game will surely change your mind. <laughs> Bowser's Inside Story? <laughs> more, like, more like Bowser's Inside Horny. <laughs> that's not funny. Because cause that's a real thing. <sighs> In this game, you actually get to play as Bowser throughout the whole story, and you get to really see what this character is about. Bowser has some emotion. He's got to be one of the most expressive characters in the whole Mario universe. Sure, a lot of the time he acts super angry, but that's what makes him work so well. So many things are able to play off of him since he hardly ever reacts to anything with a neutral tone. People say he's an evil guy, but even that's debatable. I mean, sure, he's constantly kidnapping the princess, taking advantage of Dark Lords for his own personal gain, and accidentally destroying the universe at one point. But come on! Come on! After seeing Nintendo Switch parental controls, I think we can all agree. Bowser is a freaking awesome dad! This is one of the cutest gosh dang things I've ever seen in my entire life, and it's a freaking spiny dragon turtle thing playing video games with his son. What even is the world anymore? Papa, I'm kinda in the middle of some... No, I'm not throwing a party. I finished my homework. Well, most of it?
Bowser, what school does your kid go to? I wasn't aware there was any education system that would accept him in the Mushroom Kingdom. Unless you homeschool him. Dang. I guess Bowser's more talented than we thought. And even in the regard of him being the bad guy of Mario, I'm starting to think this is just some kind of game they play with each other. <laughs> Here's a little clip from the ending of Bowser's Inside Story. Oh, my heart! Ah. And let's be honest here, Bowser has got some charisma. I think this excerpt from Super Mario Odyssey will sum things up for me. Bowser's tuxedo. For a terrifying fire-breathing monster covered in spikes, Bowser sure cleans up nice. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I haven't mentioned his size, his royalty status, his eyebrows, his extreme strength. <laughs> Also, Bowser doing freaking Olympic ribbon dancing, your argument is invalid! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is the greatest freaking thing I have ever seen in my entire life! Oh man, look at him go! He is really into this! Oh my word, you know what? You just do you, man. This is, this is too wonderful. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes why I think Bowser is the best thing ever. Thank you folks for watching, and be sure to leave a like for... Oh, um, I, I gotta, I gotta go. See ya. At 10 p.m., we must always perform the ritual. Here. No, we need five. We need five. I have found the last one. Okay, now we can. Oh, <laughs> Alright, before I leave, I might as well show you guys my collection of Bowser stuff. So, first, here we have the Three Amiibos. Here we got uh, just the typical Super Mario Bowser. We've got a Smash Bowser. And here we have Smash Bowser. You know what I mean? So dumb. This figure's pretty sweet. It's probably my favorite one out of all of these. It's really high quality, but the head tilted a little bit when I pretended to fall back there. So hold on, let me just try to. Oh. Oh, uh, oh well, uh, I guess it's pretty uh, jaw dropping what this thing can do! <laughs> There's actually an interesting story behind how I got this plush. There was this guy in high school that I knew, and uh, I wanted to, like, get a Bowser figure or just anything that looked like Bowser so I could, like, replicate it to look like him as, like, some kind of joke. And so I ordered this online, and then when it got here, I liked it too much to destroy it, so I pretty much just kept it for myself. Yeah, an interesting story, isn't it? This figure's pretty cool as well, but for whatever reason, like, the skin on his snout and his stomach is, like, noticeably greener than it's supposed to be. It's like he's sick or something. Oh yeah, the ultimate controller to play as the ultimate character to form the ultimate team. You see, that was funny, because this is Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now look at this. Doesn't this highlight exactly what I was saying in this video? Just look at this guy. Doesn't this just scream out to you, come over here and give me a big ol' hug? Kids, do not accept hugs from big reptilian creatures, okay? <laughs> you know, it was fun to make a video like this. It's been fun to have Bowser around for all this time. In fact, when did, when did he start? When is Bowser's birthday exactly? When is Bowser's birthday? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what today is. So yeah, I think Bowser's pretty cool. And I'm super excited for Illumination Entertainment to inevitably turn him into an idiotic stupid spaz. I really don't want this movie to be a thing, guys. Why does this have to be a thing? Can it just not be a thing anymore? Can it get any worse than this? What the f-
Thank you. 